Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Praetorian. And Jinx here. Welcome to Mount and Blade Warband. All right, and this is for the PlayStation 4, guys. So this is a game that's been on PC for quite some time. I think the original game released, like, I don't know, four or five years ago. And then this is kind of like an expansion to it that released, I don't know, two years ago, maybe? And I've been wanting to get this game for some time. It's been sitting on my Steam uh, wish list for, fuck, I don't know, years. <laughs> and, yeah, I am finally decided to get it when I saw that it came out for the PlayStation 4 for the console. So I wasn't expecting that. It seems like it went under the radar. I don't know how many people know about this. How yeah. did you find this video? <laughs> All right, guys. So we're going to go and check this out. This is a completely blind playthrough. Never played this game. Um, just seen videos of it. So let's just go ahead and start a new game. Uh, we're not doing the tutorial. Uh, no. Let's just fucking play, we're right? jump right in. Yeah, or do we want to do the tutorial? We just want to play, right? Yeah. Yeah, maybe we'll do the tutorial on our own time. We're just going to play the game. Hint number three, you can wait on the world map by holding circle. Okay, so this is an action RPG. That's the way they define it. Um, and we're already seeing the, uh, the RPG elements Wait. here. Um, welcome adventurer to Mountain Blade Warband. Before beginning the game, you must create your character. Remember that in the traditional medieval society depicted in the game, war and politics are usually dominated by male members of nobility. So you can't be a female. Um, that does not, however, mean that you could not choose to play a female character or one who is not of noble birth. Male nobles may have a somewhat easier start, but women and commoners contain all of the same goals and in fact may have a much more interesting if more challenging early game cool okay so yeah the, the, whatever, whatever your gender is is going to impact your role in the society you know you can get married and all that stuff in this game we're gonna be a male you were born years ago in a land far away your father is an <laughs> impoverished noble traveling merchant a veteran warrior hunter uh, you want to be a noble sure we'll, why not yeah we'll have him be an impoverished noble he spent all his money probably on gambling. You came into the world a son of a declining nobility, owning only the house in which you lived. However, despite your family's hardships, they afforded you a good education and trained you from childhood for the rigors of aristocracy and life at court. You started to learn about the world uh, almost as soon as you could walk and talk. You spent your early life as... Be yeah, a page at nobleman's court, craftsman's apprentice, shop assistant, street urchin, or stepchild. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it yeah, would make sense I to be, we're gonna be yeah, a page. page. Yeah, since... And it looks like you can fit any of these with what, uh, it doesn't really matter which background was. As a boy grown out of childhood, you were sent to live in the court of one of the nobles of the land. There, your first lessons were in humility as you waited upon the lords and ladies of the household. Squire. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but from your chess games, their gossip, even the poetry of great deeds and courtly love, you, be you quickly began to learn about the adult world of conflict and competition. You also learned from the rough games of the other children who battered at each other with sticks in imitation of their elders' swords. Then as a young adult, life changed as it always does, and you became okay, a squire, a trebador, a university student, a goods peddler, a smith, or a game poacher. I guess we'll be a squire. I suppose that would make sense, right? Yeah. Yeah, we'll be a squire. Though the distinction felt sudden to you, somewhere along the way you have become a man and the whole world seemed to change around you. When you were named squire to a noble at court, you practiced long hours with weapons, learning how to deal out hard knocks and how to take them too. So I imagine being the squire, we should be pretty good at combat. You would think so. Um, you were interested in your obligations to your lord and of your duties to those who might one day be your vassals. But in addition to learning the chivalric ideal, you also learned about the less uplifting side. Old warrior stories of ruthless power politics, of betrayals, usurp usurpations, of men who used guile as well as valor to achieve their arms. But soon everything changed and you decided to strike out on your own as a venture. What made you take this decision? Ooh, personal revenge, the loss of a loved one, wanderlust, being forced out of your home, lust for money and power. Um, Probably lust for money and power, right? Yeah, sure. We'll do lust for money and power because we're an impoverished noble. We're, we're some of a impoverished noble. We want to establish ourselves in the world. Only you know exactly what caused you to give up your old life and become an adventurer. To everyone else, it's clear that you're now motivated solely by personal gain. You want to be rich, powerful, respected, and feared. You want to be the one whom others hurry to obey. You want people to know your name and tremble whenever it is spoken. You want everything, and you won't let anyone stop you from taking it. Because right. the world is ours. Become an adventurer and ride to your destiny. Let's do this damn thing. <laughs> you have been rewarded the right to carry a banner. Your banner for will signify your status and bring you honor. Which banner do you want to choose? Hmm. Oh. The bear, obviously. Could obviously. there be anything else? Yeah, of course the bear. Tutorial. Um, we don't want to do the tutorial. I want your name. Okay, though this is just teaching us how to, how to do this. How to name yourself. Yeah, how to name yourself. If I can get up there. Okay, we're going to name ourselves uh, Praetorian. <gasps> Shocking. Shocking. Yep. Nobody was expecting that one. 
Um, and yeah, we can put our points into the stuff here. Um, and each one does oh, different that's things. A lot of stuff. Yeah, we only have six points, and then we have four for the attributes over here, and then we have our proficiencies as well. So what I'm going to do is we're going to stop the recording here. I'm going to get my guy set up, and then we'll start it back up so you guys don't have to sit through this, me sitting here um, deliberating on what we're going to do. However, before we do that, I would like to point out that you can see that our starting attributes and our starting skills and proficiencies are all uh, determined on our what we chose for those uh, oh, okay. that start and origin. Cool. As you can see, we already have points in some stuff. We already fully maxed out in the power, power strike, um, as well as in riding. All right, so it looks like we're really good at riding horses. Um, leadership. We have a point in looting already, a point in persuasion, and yeah, maxed out in leadership. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, you can see we got some points over here as well already, uh, mostly in one hand and two handed weapons. Oh, and pole arms too. And then we have some good points over here. Our charisma is really high. Okay. Or I think it's really high. I guess I don't really know what's high is. <laughs> all right, so we're going to go ahead and stop the recording here, and then we'll come back once we have this character all set and ready to go. All right, guys, we are back. As you see, for the attributes, uh, put a lot of points in that strength to get that up. Uh, one point into intelligence and one into charisma. And our skills here, we kind of uh, just put them into all kinds of things. You got some points in iron flesh. Uh, also, persuasion. Yeah, we got our persuasion up, inventory management. You can kind of see what the difference is. Proficiencies, we put a little bit into one-hand weapons, but I put most of it into archery because I do plan on using the bow a bit, and that was really, really, really uh, low. So let's go ahead and say we're done here. Um, and now we need to make our uh character okay so we <laughs> we're a funny looking dude here look at um, dana carvey oh we can look at a wrinkle ourselves gray gray hair <laughs> okay well we'll be like i don't know like this age right here um and we can change our skin color here make ourselves more pink <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, yeah, that's probably that's fine here. And we get our beard going. Oh, yeah. I got a, I got, I'm actually growing like a beard right now, guys. Yeah. Should I grow, should I go with the beard or should I just go with like a goatee, my traditional? Just go with the all out beard. Because it fits the time period, right? Okay, um, I'm trying to see or like a sweet a, stash. Yeah, an awesome stash here. <laughs> Big old oh, beard. Oh, yeah, that one. You want this one? Yeah. Okay, uh, let's change our hair too. Can we change the hair color? Oh, it's down there at the bottom. I see. Yeah. Okay. Well, what what haircut are we gonna want? A rough and like a. a... Okay. <laughs> we'll go with the monk one. Sure. <laughs> or that one. That one's good. Good. That one's terrible. These are terrible cuts, Jinx. That's kind of. I think we're just gonna go with like a short haircut. We don't want lice. Lice yeah, was a problem in this time. Bad. Yeah, we don't want lice, so I think we're just going to go with one of these shortcuts here. Not that one, though. That one's... Just shave your head. That's fine. Huh? Just yeah, because I'm going bald. Head. That's that's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to shave my hair soon, guys, because I'm going bald. Um, was this the... Yeah, we'll go with that's this why one. why he's growing the beard, so it can look deliberate. Like he wants to be like a Viking man. And you think that's why I got the beard? Yeah. I actually got the beard just because I've never I'm had gonna a beard. I'm going to braid it. Braid my beard? Yeah. Well, it's not even anywhere near the length. Not yet. I'm like not gonna grow it days. out. I'm not gonna grow it out to the point it needs that. All right, guys. So I guess we're gonna go ahead and cut to this again while we make this fucking character. Cause oh, yeah. geez. <laughs> I don't want you guys to, have to sit through this. All right, we're done here. We got our guy created. Hopefully, this is it. Um, now we still got some more talking there. <laughs> you hear about uh, Calradia, a land torn between rival kingdoms, battling each other for supremacy, a haven for knights and mercenaries, cutthroats and adventurers, all willing to risk their lives in pursuit of fortune, power, or glory. In this land, which holds great dangers and even greater opportunities, you believe you may leave your past behind and start a new life. You feel that finally you hold the key of your destiny in your hands, free to choose as you will, and that whatever uh, course you take, great adventures will await you. Drawn by the stories you hear about C Calradia and his kingdoms, you... Join a caravan to Praven in the kingdom of Swadia. Okay, so we get to choose where we want to go. So we can go to the kingdom of the Nords, kingdom of the Rodux, uh, Serenid Sultanate, the Kurdic Khanate, um, kingdom. Okay, well, I think we want to go to one of the kingdoms. Just, um, yeah, how about the the Vagers? <laughs> <laughs> the Vagers? <laughs> let's go to Swadia, right? Sure. Swadia sounds kind of... Let's go to Swadia. You came by caravan, the caravan through the heartland of Calradia. Green shoots of wheat, barley, and oats are beginning to push through the dark soil, the rolling hills, and on the lower slopes of the snow-capped mountains, herds of cattle and sheep are grazing on this spring grass. Occasionally, too, you catch sight of one of the great war horses of the pride of the Swadian nobility. The land here is rich, but also troubled as the occasional burnt-out farm bears 
bears witness. You keep a, a wide berth of the forest where desperate men have taken refuge, and it is, it is some relief when you crest a ridge and catch sight of the great port of Praven, its rooftops made golden by the last rays of the setting sun. You are exhausted by the time you find the inn in Praven, and you fall asleep quickly. However, you wake before dawn and are eager to explore your surroundings. You venture out into the streets, which are still deserted. All of a sudden, you hear a sound that, sound that stands the hairs of your neck on end, the rasp of a blade sliding from its scabbard. <gasps> So we're going to have to do some fighting. So we start out with a crossbow, which is unfortunate. We didn't put any points in a crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> I did not expect of to have a crossbow. Of course. Um, let's see. This is turn the game. We might want to look at the controls briefly here. Um, defend with R2. Switch to shield. L1. Attack. Okay. So pretty basic, I think. Um, jump. Oh, we can kick. I love kicking. I love kicking, too. Hey, yeah. Well, he's got a quick kick, too. A little oh. flick of and the here, Yeah, here we have our shield now. And there's like sound so. coming from the controller. Uh-oh. How do I shoot? Okay, I don't know how to do this. This guy apparently wants to fight me, though. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to have to Your kick him. kick doesn't do any Oh, it doesn't do any damage. No. Okay, well, how do I, like, sprint? Oh, okay, we can go to first person if we want to. I don't know how to get my uh, weapon out. R1 to switch? No, I tried. It just, it's just got R1. my hands. Oh, R1? Oh, okay, I got it. And then R2 to fire. Got him! <laughs> oh, he's got a shield on now. How do I reload? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> oh, here, we got his sword now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we nice. got him! Finally. Take okay. that, bastard. All right, so yeah, not very good in the game as of right now. We can equip his Nordic sword. I don't know if that's better or not. How do we Jump just, like, loot him? Face. Oh, shit. Are you all right? Well, I guess you're alive at any rate. <laughs> I'm sure that we can say the same for the other... I'm sure that we can't say the same thing for the other fellow. That's one less thief to trouble our streets at night. Although Haven knows he won't be the last. Anyway, we're a hero. Or Heaven knows. All right, so yeah, we're a hero. Um, so what do we do? Oh, okay, we can look at whether how he feels about us. Let's go ahead and continue. The merchant takes you to his house. And, yeah. Let's keep going on there. So, we're in the merchant's house now. I don't even remember how I switched uh, perspectives here. Hmm. Oh, you this is out. You accidentally killed the guy. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so he has taken us to his house. We can eat all of his lettuce. Oh. Oh, I like lettuce. Is this our bed? Or we can sleep, or is this his bed? That's his bed. Oh, I didn't know if he was, like, helping us here. Um, he So, he has a deal for us. Uh, we've always had brigands in the hills, driven to banditry by war, debt, or love of oh, violence. they took his brother. Oh, what? Yeah, leaving their camps. Um, watch Commander tell us because of all the fight in the frontiers. Something, something, something. And they took his brother. Um, I don't know. He doesn't know what his brother was thinking, but he doesn't uh, want to pay it. So he wants us to go look for him, right? Yeah. All right. So, yeah, I'm interested. It's gonna, he's going to give us 100 uh, denars. For that, um, we'll be able to do this by ourselves. We're gonna have to hire some people. We gotta um, collect five men. Yep, there's a few lads in the village around. Um, take this purse of 100 and consider an advance. And yeah, okay, very good, sir. Very good, sir. I'll go collect some men from around the villages. Good, you can find me again in the tavern here in Praven. Got it. Okay, so we have our first quest here. Um, and why do we have a crossbow? That's what I don't understand. Why did we start with a crossbow? I want a bow. Um, you would think a noble would be able to use a bow, but I don't know. I guess they're more no, into swords probably. and stuff. But swords and crossbows. No, well, nobles didn't use crossbows usually. How the fuck do I get out of this place? It uh, seems like this would be the front door. To leave now. Oh, okay. That's oh, okay. All right, so this is the uh, large uh, map here. Oh. As you see, it's very, very uh, big. That is big. <laughs> a lot of different things here, a lot of different... Each one of these are different kingdoms. This is the desert kingdom area. This is like the... They're like Muslim type thing. Um, yeah, each one of these is a different kingdom here. Interesting. All right, so we can kind of travel on these. You might find enemies along the way. I guess let's go here. Yeah. Um, you're now viewing the overland. Press X on the map to move your party to that location. Um, to wait anywhere, press and hold circle. Okay. All right, well, we're going to travel over here and see if get we the can... Look at go. Yeah, look him go. We can get zoom in a little bit closer if we wanted to. And the game is now paused. How do I go into this? Oh, okay. The village of Asgard seems unremarkable. The fields and orchards are busy with villagers engaged in the task of the seasons. Da-da-da-da. 
Okay, so the populace is indifferent to us, and this is belongs to the Count Despin of the Kingdom of Swadia, because there's all different kinds of ranks, and you can you can become a count, you can become a, a king actually. King. So we can recruit volunteers, go to the village center, buy supplies from peasants, or take a hostile action. Look at that. Uh, let's recruit volunteers. Um, there's five Swadian recruits volunteers to follow you. And it's going to cost fifty well, dinars. You know, it's a huge chunk of our money, but that's okay. Um, do we want to do anything else here? Are we good to go? We're good. Yeah, let's let's leave. Do you think five will be enough? I don't know. That's what the quest told us we needed. It told us to get five. It's just a band of. Okay. So where did where is this band? Dudes. Do you happen to know? Let's take a look at our. Is it notes? Collect five men. Okay. Well, we've done that. Okay, give my Merton wants you to collect at least five men for nearby. After you oh, collect these men, okay. find and speak with them. Okay, so we gotta go back to him now that we got the men. And go ahead and talk to him. Seems like we could have switched a step, or skipped a step there. What do you mean? Have to go back and talk to the Merton. Oh, yeah. It'd be nice to not have to. He's at the tavern, right? Yeah. Okay. Where is he at? Is this him? No, this is a guy. Wandering guy. There he is. Nope. No. Yeah, that's him. Yeah, the Merchant of Praven. You only have five in your party. He, when are we supposed to get five? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's stupid. Well, you didn't give us <laughs> enough money for more. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, can we hire anybody from here? No, it doesn't look like it. All right. Let's leave and go to another village and attempt to hire some more men. There's another one right here. So we'll go over here. I have a feeling we're going to run into bandits. Bandits along the way. Look at our little guy. That's horse. Oh, who's that? Oh, oh village farmers. Village farmers. All right, so yeah, you'll see different people moving around on the map here. Let's recruit some volunteers. There's five of them. That's going to be all of our money. They're not really volunteers if you're paying them, are they? Yeah, I suppose not. <laughs> and they're volunteering to go into your army for a set amount of money. I don't know. Oh, you can see how many men are here, too. Yeah. The garrison. Well, the kind? far outnumbers our men. I don't think we're going to be taking this. Take <laughs> the hill. Yeah, let's attack the <laughs> castle. All right, so let's go back into the tanner and talk to this fucking merchant. Hopefully by now he's going to be pleased. Look at that. All right, we got flutes. We finished our quest. Splendid work. So now we need to hunt down these guys very well. I should hunt down the bandits. Why don't you come with us? Yeah, coward. Uh, he's not going to come with us. I ain't going to bother I know he's a coward. He looks like a fucking coward. Pussy. Him in his dress. Yeah. Okay, so... Oops, I don't want to go to the town Bottles. center. Bottles. Can I just exit this way? Yes, I can. But we could just run around. Enter the arena. What? There's arena? All right, so yeah, you can just kind of run around the town if you want to, which is kind of cool. And we can jump. <laughs> I'm trying to get a hold of the controls oh, here. Oh, look at that block. He's yeah. going to do some boxing. Yep. Yeah, because I can, I can box. Oh, cool. Look at the way he hits. Oh, what the fuck? Who backhands? Is, oh, this is how you challenge people to duel. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Whichever way you're pointing is the way he does it. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's how you backhand the people and, and challenge them to a duel. consequences for attacking? I would assume, <laughs> yes. So if we're pushing this way, we smack somebody across the face. I challenge you to a duel. Oh, I want to knock his hat off We hit him this way, then we do like... You know, that hit. Uh, uppercut that would probably be this way. Oh, yeah, we can Jeez. uppercut. Oh, would she look beasty? You yeah. can't sprint, though. I keep wanting to push this button to sprint. Townswoman. Oh, the way she's walking. Yeah, she's quite She's manly. walking very mad. So we can do uppercuts. That's cool. Oh, cool. Yeah, all right. So I like the little system of where you're pointing is uh, controls um, where you hit. Okay, so this is our bow, and this is our sword. Okay, is so this is how we change weapons. Bar? It doesn't seem like it. Uh, I think we just uh, swing wildly. And we got okay. a message. <laughs> Somebody. I think I can swing wildly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's... Oh, we can go to the castle anytime we want. Oh, hey, hey, we can go talk to the count. That? All right, well, let's go ahead and leave, and, and let's do our first task here. Uh, we're over here fucking around and shit. So where is this guy? Is it going to be on the map? Did it tell us? Is there notes? What do we do? Um, so learn oh. where the hostages are held, so we don't know. Damn. Okay, so find and defeat a group of bandits lurking near Previn, and learn where your employer's brother has been taken. Okay, so we need to find some bandits. We just gotta, like, run around? Well, I'm sure you find them on the in map the woods, somewhere. Right? Yeah, maybe in the woods. That's where I would look. Oh, wait, are these bandits? That's a tree. <laughs> okay, so I guess we're just gonna run around here. Come over here. Like, 
bandit. Where do you Is be? That Is that bandit? Oh uh, yeah, band of robbers. Let's go fight these guys. Attack. What do you want? Tell me where you keep your prisoners, and I'll let you go. Ha! Those prisoners are only going free if you pay their ransom. Did you bring any silver? The silver of my blade. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> he said, "No, I brought steel. Our our blade is not made out of silver. We're not fighting fucking werewolves <laughs> and shit, Jinx." Um, order your troops to attack without you. Well, that's kind of cowardly. No, we're gonna charge the enemy. We're gonna show off our battle skills. Oh, oh we're on a horse. We have a pony. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Where's the bad guy at? I wish we had a mini map or something. Look at all our dudes. Well, that's pretty cool. Where's the bad guys? How do I stop? Okay, I don't know where the enemy is. Yeah. They're charging, so I would take that they know. Just follow them, they know. Yeah, but I'm faster, so I'd like to get up close. There they are, we got them. Got them. Oh, he's throwing shit at us, that's not good. Yeah. Okay, I don't really know how to... Okay, we're gonna use... Kill your pony. Yeah, he's gonna kill me. Oh, we missed. Oh, I missed. All right, well, I kind of want to take the uh, the focus off of me a little bit because these guys are fucking me up. I've got 11 dudes. You guys fight. Oh, They're shit. They're just after you. Yeah, well, that's okay. <laughs> the guy on the horse. We've got 11 dudes. Yeah, I would go after the guy on the horse, too. As long as we keep them uh, not throwing them at our guys because I don't think they can hit us on this horse. So we didn't do much, but I'm going to run this guy down. Did I hit him? Uh, I can't even tell. I can't tell either. <laughs> nope, <laughs> you are delivering no damage. Am I not? Oh, we won! Oh, I'm such an awesome warrior. <laughs> God damn, look at me. All right, the battle won, so we can leave this at any time. Um, your casualties, none. We didn't lose a single person. Um, they lost, or we wounded three looters and one robber. So that's my awesome abilities there that won that battle. I spare me, spare my life. Let me go, and I'll go far away from here, I'll learn an honest, honest trade, trade, and you'll never hear from me again. I'll spare your life in exchange. We didn't get a choice there. So we want information. We want to know where this kidnapped brother is. Finish the quest. Nice. Um, so this is what happens after battle, I guess. I think this is when you can, like, loot and stuff and take their stuff. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, there is a trade mechanic in the game where you get to trade stuff, like, to different uh, areas. You can also upgrade your people. You can upgrade them uh, to uh, militiamen. There's oh, two cool. that are ready to be upgraded. Do we have any money? We have 120. Yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade a couple of these. Yeah, we'll upgrade these guys. Get them better. That's awesome. All right, so now we have two Sw uh, Swadian militias, so I think that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and... How do we just get out of here? Just return circle? Oh, okay. So this is the loot that we found here. Um, I think, yeah, this is our stuff. We have a fish or something. What is this? Yeah, smoked We've got smoked fish. fish. Okay. Do we have to eat and stuff? Huh. I don't know. Maybe that's just for health. So we found a bunch of stuff. Um, a butchering knife. We probably want to sell this stuff. Can we just sell it straight from here? Um, no. Uh, it doesn't seem like it. Um, how do we... Oh, okay. Like that. Take all. all. Yeah. Give me all that stuff there. And we'll take a look at this at some other time. Let's instead, let's get out of here. We got 26 dinars from that. We're rich. So we now know where the bandits are. Um, but I don't know where they are. Let's go ahead and take a look at our notes. Attack the bandit lair. Let's see where it's at. In Elboro. Near Elboro. And free the brother of the merchant. Okay. Let's take a look here. Do we know where El Burl is? Oh, here we go. Way and there it is. Way over there. Okay. And this is the kidnapper's hideout. Do we want to just attack? Do you think we can win? Sure, why not? We've got a long trek to go. That's us right there. We also have some money, so we could always think about hiring some more people. We might need more people. Yeah, we might. Did I don't it know. say how many were in there? No, it didn't, unfortunately. It didn't say what the garrison was. So I'm a little bit worried that we're going to be outnumbered. Maybe we should Stop go to Elbro. Yeah. Go to Elbro and let's see if we have the money. Oh, it's getting nighttime, right? It looks like it's getting dark, doesn't it? Do you have yeah. to stop? Okay, there's like a day-night cycle. I don't really know. I have no idea. 
Um, we're probably going to look this up. Really, guys, we just kind of, we needed a new series. And so we just decided to just hop into this. Like, we didn't even really, like, look it, look it up or see. Uh, no, we're we didn't do the that tutorial. That good. Yeah, we just thought it's kind of a last moment thing. Um, Jinx got to work today. Got to pick up Boo. kids. Yeah. I've got to work tonight. Oh, oh, I got to work. Yeah, it's going to be a rough shift. It's going to be an overnight shift. Um, what can we do here? And for recruit villagers, do we have the money? Ooh, they want there's six of them. Money. Well, because there's six oh, of them. that's true. Sure, let's recruit them. I don't know if we had the money for that, but that's fine. Let's leave. I feel more comfortable having a larger army. Buy supplies. Yeah, we don't need no supplies. Let's just attack their, their hideout here. And this will probably be the end of the episode. You approach the hideout. The looters don't appear to have spotted you yet, and you could still sneak away unnoticed. The difficult approach to the site down a narrow defile means that only a handful of your troops in the... Oh, well, that sucks. Aww. Only a handful. And they'll be unable to bring their horses. If your initial attack fails, the looters will easily be able to make their uh, escape and disperse. Do you wish to attack the hideout or wait for another occasion? Mm. Let's attack. Okay, so we are um, on foot. We don't have our horse, which is probably good anyway. I think I kind of sucked on the horse. <laughs> I don't know how to get off the horse. Okay, is there's... this their hideout? Yeah, it looks like it looks this like is their camp. Somebody. And that's a bad guy, right? He's not wearing any clothes. Oh, this takes a little while to reload. Yep. And I missed him. Come on, reload. <laughs> ah! He's going to get me. Help me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And yeah, I keep trying to sprint. Oh. Yeah, and you can't. Oh. You know what? I should have ate something because I came into this battle with the same health that I oh, had in the last sucks. one. Yep. So I already came in here kind of fucked up. That's all right. Luckily, we've got really good uh, army like here. Killing women and children. <laughs> okay, and there's another guy. They don't have any clothing, too. I think that helps. When you're running around with your nipples hanging out, you know, it's cold, and that's kind of all you're thinking about is how cold your nipples are. It looks cold, right? Yeah. I don't even have to do any battle. No. I don't have to do shit. Your dude's got this. Yeah. All right, well, that's awesome, because I kind of suck, so... It's good that my uh, my friends... Oh, look, they got a cave. You're there for moral support. Yeah, my leadership ability. Hey, come on, guys. I don't even know if I should run over there. They'll you probably kill that guy before it. I get there. Oh, they're walking up the hill. Yeah, well, all that plays into the mechanic. If you have uphill advantage, I think you do more damage. Oh. And, uh, you know, it obviously wears you out more, maybe. I don't know. I guess there's no uh, exhaustion. How big are these battle maps, I wonder? I don't know. I know you can get really big battles, though. Here's a, here's a bad guy. He's uh, concentrating on, on fighting. Oh, that's the merchant's that's the brother. brother. He we look rescued like a him. Okay. Yes, he did. He put us on there. All right, so that's awesome. With the retreat cut off, the looters fall one by one to your determined attack. Their hideout and their ill gotten it's gains ours. are now ours. Oh, wow. Oh, look at all this stuff they have. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff. Um, can we carry that much? Yeah, just take it all. Well, I'm seeing how much room we have. I don't know if we'll be able to carry all that. We'll see what we can. Oh, we can. So we're going to have to go to the, the uh, next to a merchant place and sell it. Do I you see equip our horse. your dudes or do they equip themselves? I don't know. Really, we don't know. We're going to have to check all this out. We have a sway back saddle horse. Aww. So you can have different horses and stuff. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, not Poor very good. Poor old fella. Yep. That's okay, though. Um, so let's go ahead and return. Okay, so yeah, we've won here. Um, I think that means, so they said that this was ours, but I'm not seeing any camp here. <laughs> <laughs> we've got a flag. Yeah, we have a flag. So let's go ahead and go back to Praven um, and get our reward uh, for helping that merchant out. And how much time do we have left of the episode? Are we going to have time to reach here? Two minutes. Two minutes. Okay, so we might have time to get here. This is a nice little journey here. And next episode, well, I'm probably going to do the tutorial um, between now and the next episode. <laughs> so and I will at least pretend we know what we're yeah, doing. Yeah, so I can at least learn how to play We would have done that beforehand. We really thought about it. We figured you guys didn't want to watch the tutorial, though. And frankly, uh, we didn't have time. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. That's not good. Oh, no. That's a big old oh, bandit wait, party. Oh, he's following. chasing somebody else down. No. Is that a bandit? Yeah, it said bandit part, I think. Oh. Maybe it wasn't. I thought somebody was chasing a bandit part. Oh, okay. Maybe that was this, the... Uh, the Vader. The guy who rules here. Vader guy. Vader. <laughs> uh, Prosperous Town of Praven. Let's go to the tavern and get our reward. 
He's gonna give us. Well, my brother is home safe. Um, I'm not sure what to do with him. Maybe pack him off to university. Da 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 da. And is well earned. What did he give us? Two hundred dinars. Two hundred dinars. All right. Thank you. Good. Now, are you interested in making some more? Possibly. Yeah. Um, remember, I told you that the bandits had an alliance at the walls. I think I know who it is. The <gasps> captain of the watch. No. What? Some months ago, the captain, seeing the amount of profit we merchants were making from trade across the frontiers, decided to borrow some money to sponsor a caravan. Unfortunately, like many, da da da, so it looks like his caravan oh, was looted and he lost no. everything. That's unfortunate. So he turned to villainy to get his money back. Okay, well, that's not unsurprising. There's still a few brave, honest souls in the watch that have told me how he works. Now, here's my plan. I could bring this to the attention of the King Harless, Lord of the City. So the king uh, lives here, actually. But that would mean an acquire me and my word against the captains and witnesses, da da da. So he doesn't want to do all that. We gotta storm the captain's home. <laughs> In time of war, you see a king's eye wanders far from his domain and his subjects suffer. So he's got another ideal. He wants to, uh, he's got a small group of town folks together. Some men in my employ, and yeah, he wants to uh, attack them. Someone to lead. So he wants us to lead the battle. How do I know you're telling me the truth? <laughs> yeah, I think we might need to think about this a little bit. Yeah, uh, maybe we're going to think about this a little bit before we do this. Yeah. Can't just take yeah. the word of a merchant. Yeah, let's let's uh, take our time thinking about this for now. We can always come back to him and talk to him. See if we can go talk to the captain and another feel time. for him. Yeah, maybe we might be able to find the captain. Might be able to talk to the king. Um, go over to the king and be like, hey, I'm a nobody. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's see if he'll let, let... You know, if it's like Skyrim, anybody can just walk up to the Earl yeah. and fucking talk to him. No, Jump on him. And shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so this is like the, yeah, the inn. I imagine we... I don't know if we need to sleep or eat or anything like that, but yeah, that is the end of the episode guys um i hope you guys enjoyed this first look at the game here uh we're gonna play uh quite a few more probably uh, we don't really have anything else to play right now so yeah we're gonna keep playing this game and if you enjoyed this video please leave a like consider subscribing to the, cha to the channel and consider coming back checking out the rest of this series guys thanks for watching